welcome to ProAbcast News, where we bring you daily industry updates. Today is Monday, August 31st, and you're watching the Afternoon Update with Sarah Fletcher. Today's news is sponsored by GamePlan Financial Marketing, investing in you. For more information, please visit www.gameplanfinancial.com. Now for today's headlines. Findings from the National Association for Business Economics indicate that 76% of surveyed economists do not think a second economic stimulus is necessary. Meanwhile, half of respondents think that in the second half of 2009, the stimulus will add between 0.5 and 1.5 percentage points to the gross domestic product, and nearly one-third think it would add less than 0.5 percentage points. And according to the association, 58% of economists say this stimulus will add between 0.5 and 1.5 percentage points to the GDP between the fourth quarter of 2009 and the fourth quarter of 2010. In economic news, reports indicate that the central bank has generated $14 billion in profits on loans made in the last two years as a result of the unstable economic environment. In terms of interest and fees charged to those institutions that utilized emergency funds during the global financial crisis, the Federal Reserve gained approximately $19 billion. Finally, it's noted that the estimate of funds generated in response to the financial bailout excludes company bailouts and purchases of long-term assets, as well as unrealized gains or losses on the Fed's portfolio of mortgage-backed securities and treasuries purchased as part of the $1.75 trillion asset purchase program. In healthcare news, Americans' confidence in terms of healthcare costs grew 12% in the second quarter, Thomson Reuters reports. A survey of 3,000 households indicates that people in higher income brackets and those with insurance are more confident in their financial preparedness and increasingly so. This means fewer Americans fear they will be unable to pay for healthcare services and fewer individuals will be forced to postpone necessary medical treatments. I'm Sarah Fletcher and thanks for watching ProAbcast News. For more in-depth news and features, visit ProducersWeb.com.